How's it going YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick video here showing you the 12,000 watt garden. Um, this room is a 15 foot wide um, by 18 foot deep room. There are two side rooms here. There's one here. Let me grab my flashlight because it's dark in here. Uh, there is one room here. And this room is currently holding all of the equipment, fans, buckets, all the little things, hydrogen here. Um, and then this room, I built this wall here so that um, I had a place to walk in. There'll be a door there, could get changed or whatever I need to do. I have completely vapor barriered. I just need to uh, flatten the tape out a little bit. I've been all alone here today, so. Um, just getting this done on this side of the room over here. There's another side room and over here we have um, a sink where the RO unit will all be hooked up. Booster pump, RO. Here's all the ballast that will be running. Um, and then right here we have a, a MLC 16DX. The D just stands for dual trigger. Um, and then there's 430 amps on four banks of lights and everything is just pretty much ran together uh, these are workhorse ballasts from Go GroCo Supply there is an attic fan here to suck the air out and then it comes through that hole right there to keep this room nice and cool there'll be a um, 150 gallon reservoir the hoods will look like this they'll be four deep on a pulley system um, that will be mounted to the roof so they all raise at the same time and then they'll be three wide. Um, I am currently hoping to have this done within the week. It's just a lot of work. Over here is where the reservoirs will sit with the control module. It's just got all the hoods right now. Uh, these boxes haven't even been opened, only half of them. And then I have a sliding glass door here behind this curtain uh, to be able to take and just pull the plant straight out. Um, the Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I will keep you guys posted. And any questions, comments, um, anything? Oh, and there'll be 48, sorry, 45 plants running in here uh, for the legal limit with three licenses up in the Northwest. Um, caregiver provider forms, the whole nine. And there will not be CO2 in here. There will be passive air. Um, just for now. I really am not sure that I want to try to run CO2 on the first run of a room. You know, you, you really got to dial it in and then add your CO2 once everything else is running right. So uh, the f exhaust will be through there. Um, and then on the ends of these hoods will be eight inch dust rooms, um, three deep. And then there will also be two eight inch um, can fan HO um, intakes three um, can fan HO outtakes for the three um, four bank lights. Everything will be hooked up to thermostat controllers on the intake fans, the exhaust fans, um, along with um, the heat uh, for heating at nighttime. So that's, oh, and the, um, there'll be two 12,000 BTUAC units running. In the summertime, we're gonna have to step it up to four of those, um, plus by the summertime in another six or so months, eight months, whenever it comes, uh, we'll be running CO2 by then. So we'll definitely need at least four tons of AC unit, four tons of AC um, in here. So for now, this is pretty much it, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, before everything is taped, it looks like that. All the edges are curled up, everything just looks like shit. And then after it's taped, you can see here, um, it's nice and everything is laid down flat and you can't really tell. There's not a bunch of waves and all that crap. Uh, there'll be this for the flooring. This is some pretty good stuff. It's pretty thick. Um, you can walk on it. Um, it's not the little cheap styrofoam stuff. It's, it's pretty nice stuff. I really want to mylar the whole floor with the stuff that I got here on the wall for vapor barrier. Then lay this down. This is simply for the pots so that there's no temperature change between night and day from the cement floor cooling the roots and the buckets. It's going to be an ebb and grow system. Um, I'll have it on 15 or 30 minute intervals and um, instead of running it 12 hours a day each bucket will have an air stone running simply pretty much like a um, 
undercurrent system without the current. It will just be flooding in, flooding out, flooding in, flooding out. Um, the air stones will be doing all the air rating um, and it will simply be going in and out that many times just to keep on you know, flooding everything, cycling it through like an undercurrent system. Uh, my last grow, the Ebon Grow, uh, the jelly bean, cropped out at close to 0.75 pounds per um, light, which was pretty pathetic. Um, I don't even think it was jelly bean. I think I was lied to, and I didn't even get it from a dispenser. I got it from a friend. So, uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope he didn't know that he gave me that strain because that's some bullshit. But anyways, YouTube, uh, have a good night. Just want to make a quick video update. Um, good luck. Any questions, comments, leave them, post them, uh, whatnot. I'll get back to you. Uh, have a good night. Bye.